Hello my soccer universe for a review video finally for Liga and the Eredivisie and we're gonna do it actually in this order because I think that the events in the Eredivisie are a little bit more momentous. However, we had uh, two top games in these two leagues. We had past weekend, uh, if you want, title decider between PSG and Loss, where uh, yes, in the end the Parisians went through, but it was not all that straight forward for me but though this means now that it is all about the race for the second champions league spot in Liga. that's quite competitive between the fixed one for the group stage between marseille and loss uh with monaco who were in really good form now also falling a little bit by the wayside for that one um and it's not quite clear where they will end up probably europa league speaking of europa league um it's quite possible that not likely but possible that one of the Europa League spots gets to the relegated teams because the relegation battle in Ligue 1 is rather rather tight with Strasbourg getting actually two very credible results uh, two big results that actually lifted them now out of the relegation zone and potentially into a brighter future ahead I mean the Netherlands it is all was all about I mean Feyenoord is more or less a win away um, to secure the next title. They are cruising. Yes, they got eliminated from the Europa League, but they made up with that uh, that with a home win against Utrecht, which probably was the last real big stumbling block. And they can actually say, say, say secure it relatively soon that they have the title in the bag. So it was also the race for the second Champions League, but where we had a major clash, the top up between PSV and Ajax, and PSV rocked. Ajax big time and it's a catastrophic season for Ajax uh, one has to say because second place is now a serious doubt you have a chance to win a title next week but it's again the same PSV team that is actually just uh, completely steamrolled you so uh, rather rather rough times ahead actually in both leagues we have uh, the cup finals coming up this weekend so that's also a rather exciting thing uh, to see we see finally silverware handed out uh, i think this weekend also in austria this is happening so uh major things happening if if you uh, would like but uh, we also had one postponed game and there are some new re regulations remember the semi-final between uh Feyenoord and ajax where uh, David Klaassen was hit, I think it was with a lighter and was bleeding in, in the end. So uh, the um, Dutch Football Federation uh, has now very strict rules that if something gets thrown on the pitch, uh, the players will be taken off the field for 15 minutes uh, and then play can resume to calm everything down and to find the person. However, if, some, if a person is hit, uh the game is immediately banned which is a rule that came into place because a referee i think it was in uh Honingen, was hit by a beer uh can or a uh, cup and the game was therefore abandoned already in the 18th minute and i want it will be curious to see how this will go because you know um if that happens on us, I'm not sure how you can finish the league. But, you know, I think it's important regulations to have. Throwing stuff on the pitch is an absolute no-go. Uh, players cannot go in the stands. Uh, fans cannot throw anything on the all to feel there's a clear separation. And that has to be respected. I want to start in the Eredivisie. Um, this is now the uh, first weekend of April. Now, uh, the weekend started with uh, Lyon, who actually have been in relatively good form, getting a 2-1 away win at Toulouse. A Toulouse team that is a little bit in uh, no man's land in the table and are clearly focused. I mean, they have, more, uh, they have their status in Ligue 1 secured. They can now focus on the cup final and that will be their big game. Uh, however, they had a 1-1 and then a late own goal uh, gave um, Lyon the, the win. Keep that, uh, that, that, that in mind. But it was really... Uh, we had also Stade Rennes beating Stade de Reims. 3-0, uh, kind of a little bit surprising result given how Reims were well. But now 
Will still finally has lost a few games and Reis is kind of not go pushing all the way for Europe anymore. But that was anyway an unlikely scenario. But Rennes is again one of those teams that always flatter to deceive getting a great result and a bad result that happened also in these two, the past two weeks. However, all the focus was more or less on the big clash between PSG and Loss uh, with a six point difference between those two if Loss would have won that game. It could have gotten really tight and I think the Parisians would have been nervy and I think I could have well envisioned a similar situation as in Munich where uh, like everyone completely loses their you know what. Uh, and the game, uh, Lance were very well in the game. PSG was on the back foot for, a lo for the, all the starting 50, opening 50 minutes and, and so they really had a hard time getting into the game. However then Abdul Samet makes a really rough tackle. I I think it was on Hakimi. Um, not sure if it has been now a while. Um, with starts up, yeah, it's a red card. Um, and that killed the game for loss. And PSG, game was a little, 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 little bit uh, level. And then the big two up front took over with Messi and Mbappe. Um, Mbappe scoring the first one. Then a few minutes later, Vitinha gets on the, on the scoring sheet. And then a brilliant assist by Kylian Mbappé to Leo Messi in the 40th minute. Uh, assist at least of the month. Uh, the way he back heels it into Messi's path uh, was just brilliant. So it's 3-0 at the half and that was that. Frankowski converts a penalty to pull it back, but it was never the comeback was never in the cards. Lille, um, a little bit in the shadow of their rival's loss, is actually mounting a really good second season 2-1 win at home over Montpellier. Nice's exit in the Conference League was a little bit foreshadowed with a 1-0 uh, loss at relegation threatened uh, Brest. Also in relegation, Osea beat not to one uh, which gave basically sucking not back into this um, where you thought that they are kind of safe already. And then Strasbourg, a really big win over Ajax Zo and Ajax Zo team that's going down already, but uh, that was sorely needed. And it's again a Strasbourg team that almost qualified for Europe is now uh, fighting against relegation. Monaco get a 3-1 win over Lorient with uh, the attack Golovin and Folland scoring um, uh, early on before uh, Kone pulled puts back. And uh, Marseille also uh, finished kind of their wobbly form with two, two, two draws with a win. Uh, the other Vintinia uh, assisted by Sassan Cheng 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 is uh, scoring uh, the goals again. The three one come 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 late. So we had three games where uh you know the consolation goal it was three nil and then there was a consolation goal. Going into this past weekend is more or less again with we we talk about the big games here. Um Messi and Mbappé running a riot. Nah, not a riot, but you know, controlling game Mbappé scoring two in the 26th minute, it was already two nil. Uh the second one really nicely assisted by Leo Messi. We have to mention that because whenever those two perform perform well, seemingly all the world is happy. PSG having its game firmly under control, not scoring more goals. And then it almost got a little bit tight when Tube pulls one back against an Angers team that is basically relegated since January, if not sooner. So yeah, uh, that was what needed to, 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 to be PSG. Just need to pull, pull, pull in a few more performances like that. Just uh, said Lille have been really, really good overall, but the 1-1 out of Serie is not very credible. However, Lens uh, put down another marker uh, in their plight for a Champions League spot. They destroy Monaco. Uh, this was not even close. For, uh, within 60 minutes, Openda had, call, uh, had scored twice already. Uh, they had a goal by Thomason uh, called for offside, and a little bit later he scores a third. It was 3 0. Uh, there were some chances for Monaco late on, but at that point, uh, Lens had so much control already of that game that there was only ever one winner. And at home, this Lens team is rather impressive and uh, really, really hard to stop. Then Strasbourg getting a big 2 0 away win at Reims. And again, I want to stress that for us, probably the season is now not going in anywhere. European spaces, since we have a, um, a cup final that uh, is between two teams that are not in the top five, 
you need to get fifth to make it into Europe and Raz have probably a little bit too much of an uphill battle but for Strasbourg this was a make or break game Ajax so impressed player nil nil also relegation threat team not only 2-2 against Troy also a Troy team that is seriously uh, that will get relegated um, I told you this is bad 2-1 loss at home to Clermont Foot. Uh, Clermont is also a rather interesting story. They had now four wins in a row and sitting rather mid-table for a really, really small team. They actually have a cooperation partner with Austria Lustenau in Austria. So I find that interesting too. And start again. One week yay, another week nay. Losing, yes, it's a long trip to Mont Mont still. However, uh, the last one I want to talk about is the Olympico between uh, OL and OM. Um, a game where I watched a little bit. I mean, my focus was there, there definitely on Juve Napoli. Uh, a game that I thought, especially in the first half, it was, it was even with slight advantage, Marseille and that actually came into play when Cengiz Under um, does turn off to get it. 1-0 uh, lead just before for the half. However, Lacazette, who has been in decent form, uh, gets them an equalizer and the game seems level, seems headed, maybe even uh, swing a little bit Lyon's way. And then the slapstick on goal of the season. And you have to watch highlights to really see what, what, what I mean. It's a bad clearance that goes awry, hits Malogist Gusto and it jumps off his thigh. There was no... I mean, there is a Marseille player some, somewhere inside, but uh, there is another attempt at the clears that misses, hits Malagusto, goes in, into net. Absolute slapstick. Marseille had nothing to do with that goal. Of course, they celebrated. That, that was the only thing. That was self-inflicted as self-inflicted can be, in, in, a, in a way, an absolute stunning 2-1. And yeah, maybe more than OM... Uh, would have expected to get out of, out of this one. And so we have in the standings PSG leading now eight points ahead of OM. Uh, eight points, six games, meaning three wins and, P and PSG are champions again. Um, Lance are hanging in, in, in as well. It's rather, rather tight between those two. And I think there will be a head-to-head -head coming up relatively soon. So that will be big. We also have Monaco now is at a distance. We'll probably not make Champions League as another Europa League campaign for them. And then Lille probably will get this fifth spot with Rennes uh, threatening as well. But we have to also look at, at the bottom. We have three teams that are more or less down. I mean, the, the, the distance is to this 10, 10 point. So Trajek, so Angers are not go, uh, are gonna get re relegated. But then for the last point, this time there's no, no playoff. There are four teams going down because the league is reduced to 18, which, yeah, bravo. Uh, because I think we need smaller league leagues across the board, but uh, it makes for a hell of a relegation battle. And yeah, you see Osea, Strasbourg, Nantes and Brest are all in there. At the moment, Osea hold, hold, holding up a hand. But um, if you look at the chances, they are the lowest rated team in there. So they are, the, the chances for them going down are the highest, which we actually see in the expected saying that Strasbourg and Nantes just will escape. However, I think this is much, 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 much closer than it already looks like here. Uh, this is going to go down the wire. I am actually quite cert certain about that and I cannot tell you. Uh, who will do it? I personally hope that Strasbourg and not will survive. Honestly. Um, upcoming games. Uh, we have in the next one um, nothing really that sticks out right now for me. However, we have two games a little bit postponed because of the cup final. So we have to lose loss and Brest against not. Uh, Brest, Brest against not. That's a relegation. Uh, six pointer, if you will, would like. Uh, we have Marseille playing Osea, which is probably an e uh, one that needs to be won. And you know, last it could be that Marseille will have a decisive uh, advantage for second spot. And then the week after, uh, we have last Marseille, that's the big one right there. Uh, and in between, we have, of course, the cup final between Nantes and Toulouse. Can Nantes repeat? That would be interesting because um, last season it was kind of out, out of nowhere and they would double it up. That would be uh, rather odd, but for a big team like not rather cool. But I think that also Toulouse and again, I was not, not, not aware of this until uh, my friend Idris, who lives close to Toulouse, not being from Toulouse, uh, he says that's the fourth largest town in France. So it's actually a pretty, pretty interesting cup final, I have, I have to say. I hope I'll be able to watch it. 
Let's move over to the Netherlands, where I again will focus on more the title race uh, than anything else. I want to point out that Sparta Rotterdam, a team that was relegation threat, is having a really, really good season. 4 0 over Herrenveen. Volenar against, against PSV. Uh, yes, it was a 2 0 at the half. At one time, uh, it was 3 1 through Thiel, who scored 2 Luc Luc de Jong after Thiel assist also. But Mbuyama and Van Mie, uh, Mihem. Uh, twice pulled goals back, but in the end, PSV get the win. A uh, big win for Utrecht over Twente. A Twente team that's also a little bit... I mean, they were looked like set to be fin finished fifth, but they might lose it. They had a little bit of a rough patch now with only one win out of the last four. Uh, losing at Utrecht, um, yeah, that was a, a kind of a head-to-head. -head. They had two goals disallowed for offside before Van der Streek got the winner for Utrecht. Feyenoord cruising over Cambuur in between the two Roma games. Jimenez, Szymanski and an on goal by McIntosh. Um, hilarious on goal. Also one that you want to watch if, 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 if you have, have the chance. Give them the lead and again closer to the title at Z. Also 3 0 at Citad and Ajax. Uh, relatively easy 3 1 at Emmen uh, with uh, Sanchez, Bergwijn and Tadic scoring the goals uh, and Antonis only pulling one back at the two one, uh, to make it 2-1 at a point. In midweek we had a makeup game between Gregoet Eagles and Valwijk. Actually quite an entertaining one. Um, Valwijk had a 1-0 lead, then it was 2-1 in the 23rd minute. Uh, Willemsen misses a penalty that would have made it 3-1 just before. Then Kramer equalizes and then a uh, late Lidberg winner in the 95th minute. So rather, rather exciting game uh, between two teams where you wouldn't actually really expect it. But uh, that was probably on that day, the Wednesday, the best game. And I include all the Champions League ties in there. Uh, on the past weekend, um, between Groningen and Nijmegen, there was, as I said, in the in, 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 um, cup or uh, can thrown at the linesman. That's why the batch was abandoned in the 18th minute. It will be replayed or the, it will be finished uh, this upcoming Tuesday. So tomorrow, but you know, I do the video, video now, will include it in the next video. Uh, super entertaining 3-3 between Twente and Sparta. Ah, perfect 3-3. Uh, Brené gives the lead to Twente. Ten, ten minutes later, Lauritsen equalizes. Ten minutes later, Lauritsen gives Sparta the 2-1 lead. And a Van Mullen, uh, goal is disallowed in the second half. Um, and just a few minutes later, Abel scores an own goal. So it's 2-2. Two, two. Czerny, just a f uh, two, two minutes later, turns the game, 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 game around for Twente, who had been under uh, pressure by Spars, uh, Sparta, seemingly to hang on. No. Sambo scores and then gets sent off with a second yellow card because I guess it was the celebration of a bust of, 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 of there. Uh, super entertaining game. Uh, of course, it, it was also between two teams uh, who will get the top spot in the playoff. So uh, Sparta um, having that in there. Do I need a Sparta jersey? We'll see. AZ, um, no, I'm, I'm losing that, but AZ uh, get 3 0 over Valwijk, but it was all about PSV and Ajax. And as I said, Ajax did not show up. Um, it's also Bergwijn coming come back to Eindhoven. He came from Eindhoven to Spurs, then to Ajax, so kind of a little bit of a Judas move there. Not as much as Berghois, but you know, the two Bergs. Uh, doing stuff. Luc de Jong getting an early lead for PSV, who did everything except double the lead. Uh, Sags as the second half, Simons converts a penalty, then Luke de Jong makes it a, a route. That was really not much for Ajax. And at, in this form, I think the PSV will also win the cup. And PSV will make it in, in, in the Champions League. It's a disastrous season for uh, Ajax. I said it when they lost the cup final to uh, PSV last season. There's change afloat. I thought that PSV will uh, swoop in to get the title now that it's Feyenoord. But uh, if you look at the at, at the results, PSV have not lost against the other big three teams. Or at least against Ajax and Feyenoord. They won twice again against Ajax. I think they won one against Feyenoord and uh, drew the other one. They actually should be top of, of the table. They have blown it. With some, uh, with some bad results against smaller opposition. And remember, there was October when they were scoring freely. PSV actually 
There's an R, R argument to, to, to remit the PSV threw away a title. Now it is Feyenoord's title. Feyenoord who get a 3-1 over Utrecht. Um, who will make it into this playoff spot. Probably, probably will face an away game. It was Shimanski who broke down. Then Jimenez uh, who has been really scoring uh, every single game. And also Ali Reza Jambaksh. Uh, make it 3-0. Only a very late consolation goal. And... With all that, Feyenoord is a win away from securing the title. It's four games to go. You have an eight-point advantage. Win the next game. Now, pro and a, a little. It could be one win, and you know, uh, others draw dropping points. So uh, it's not quite yet done, but it's very, 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 very close. None of, of the others will catch them. Um, we see the table where, uh, as you see, it's rather, rather, rather tight. But then 20 uh, being close together. On the bottom, just uh, quickly, MN and Excelsior have the last relegation spot. Volendam is in there as well. Groningen and Cambuur more or less down. Groningen, uh, that seems, that is rather remarkable because they have a steady, been a steady Eredivisie team. And yeah, between uh, Excels and MN, Excels are having the slight advantage for now, as does PSV over Ajax. And you see also, uh, I think we have the top four for this, uh, uh, for uh, the playoff race. That's pretty much secured as well, those uh, four who will go in. Um, the league will pause this weekend just for the cup final. We have the makeup game tomorrow, but we have PSV Ajax um, playing on a Sunday. Probably will not see it because at the same time Lask is playing as well. But then we come back. We have uh, Sparta against PSV. Uh, we have Ajax against AZ, which is pretty big game. Uh, but I'm not sure in the context of the season it still is. Then Excelsior play Feyenoord. So in Rotterdam. If Sparta get points of PSV and then Feyenoord win at Excelsior, it could already be done. So yeah, exciting times in both of these leagues. Please let, let me know what you thought about the happenings there. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!